All right, guys, I couldn't even lie if I wanted to. Having a pair of Vortex binoculars are probably the most important tool in my arsenal. With that being said, I feel it's so important that I need to give away a pair. You want a, fair, a pair of, of Vortex binos? We're gonna give them away. All you gotta do, like, subscribe, and comment. If you do that, you're entered in the giveaway. Simple as that. Don't be the guy that didn't like, subscribe, and comment on our channel because guess what? Then you don't win. So get ready. The giveaway is coming. Should you hunt mornings, early season? There is a popular belief. Do I believe that? We'll see as this video progresses. There are times and situations for everything. Before we get to that, we're booking clients right now. We're booking visits. Get ahead of the ball game before we book up. We will book up. Um, if you're looking to learn more about your property, how to bring more deer to your property, how to make money on your property, how to have more fun on your property with your family by seeing more, like all these things. If you want to learn more about whitetails, building the ultimate whitetail parcel, get on the books with us. Go to whitetaillandmanagementservices.com. Head over there, hit the contact tab, shoot me an email, I'll get back to you. Uh, other than that, you guys want some uh, discounted gear, head over to Euro, as in like European, eurooptic.com. Um, Vortex Optics was giving us a deal to hand out to you guys. So if you use the code WLMSVTX10 um, at eurooptic.com, you get some money off. Or head over to vortexoptics.com. And that uh, on that website, you can use the apparel code WLM20. Get some money off their new swag, which is sweet. So let's get into it. Should you be hunting mornings early season? Here's the thing or the misconception that has taken place over the course of time that you should or shouldn't be listening to and it's situational and very dependent on your hunting situation. You need to be smart enough to understand whether you need to be taking that advice or not based off of these big TV shows that you're watching that say never hunt in the morning, sit on your haunches and wait for those bucks to come then go strike. Um, I'm gonna help you determine whether or not you should be hunting early season mornings or not. So, if you are a public land hunter, you should, in my opinion, definitely be hunting early season mornings because if you don't, somebody else will. And if you're late to the game, it's too late. You gotta be first, you gotta be in there, you gotta have the element of surprise before these deer get educated. You gotta go in early season mornings. How do you do that? You wait in their bedroom. Um, and in order to wait in their bedroom, you have to find the bedroom, you have to find the beds. How do you do that? We could do off-season scouting, and it's a good way to understand broadly what's going on in the woods, guys. But honestly, the best way to do it is go in there and blow it out. I know some of you guys are shrugging your shoulders and shaking your head right now. Brett, are you telling me to go and blow up my best areas before I hunt them? On a public land, public land scenario, I am. Because if you don't, somebody else will. And at least you get that intel, that information. And if it's only the first time those deer get bumped, there's a pretty good chance they're going to be back within a day or two. I've done it myself. I've seen it. I've killed deer doing it this way. So that situation, I would definitely recommend hunting um, early season mornings. Wait for them in, in the bed, um, the bedroom as they come back from hopefully a destination food source, the acorns, wherever you are, the big timber, figure out what the destination food is, figure out where the bedroom is, hunt the bedding area accordingly. So um, if you are a field edge hunter, guys, if you have your tree stands on the edge of a field, I'm going to be honest with you you probably shouldn't be hunting early morning sits early in, the, early in the season, especially if you're sitting over a food source that is super palatable and attractive during that time of year. Now I get it. Maybe you're a permission guy. Maybe you, uh, maybe you have a small property and you know half of its crops and you can only get to your stand if you drive through the crops, all these different situations. Those are situations in which I probably don't even want to go and hunt my property. Now, at least if I'm trying to kill mature deer. Now, if you just want to go hunting to go hunting, have at it. Um, but if you're trying to be strategic about how you're trying to do this, if you have to go through a field or hunt on a field edge, get out there early in the morning, chances are you're going to be bumping a lot of those deer off the fields and you're never going to get the opportunity anyway. So in that given scenario, I would not be hunting early mornings, um, or hunting mornings, early season as a whole my rule of thumb or something that I believe in. And like I said, it's very situational dependent. I'm trying to point out some of those situations for you guys right now. And if you have a situation, um, drop it in the comments. Let's talk about it a little bit. And, and I can try and reach out to some of you guys and maybe we can figure some stuff out for your given situation. But as a whole, I don't like to depend on what those big TV shows are saying because my situation is different than theirs. So not to knock them, um, but let's think of the big names, outdoor industry names. 
we can't always relate to those people because we don't have their given situation where they have thousands of acres and all these things like that. So to take advice from those people isn't always the best idea because that situation could be completely different than you. And in this case, let's say you're not hunting mornings early season or late season. You just lost half your season damn near. I mean, you can't afford to do that just because somebody said that you shouldn't do it who's never been to your property or doesn't know your situation, guys. As a whole, if you had to ask me, should you hunt you know, early mornings or hunt mornings early season, my, my broad answer is yes. Yes, you should, given you have the situation to do it. Um, and understanding that you can take maybe the back door in and get to that bedding area before those deer get to it or from a different angle so that they never cross your scent path on the way in. All these different things. What I'm getting at at the end of the day is don't take advice from somebody who has a different situation from you. If they hunt thousands of acres and you're a public land hunter um, and, and theirs is private, it's probably not the same as yours. Um, if you own 40 acres and they own 5,000, probably not the same as yours. So it's another opportunity to get out there and hunt those deer um, if you know how to do it right. So if you can understand your situation a little bit better, guys, get out there and kill those bucks in the mornings. It's definitely possible um, and you can definitely get it done. So if you like these tips, you like this content, you like these videos, like, subscribe, and comment. We're always doing giveaways and that way you're entered to win some free stuff. See you next one.